future is that God will take me to where he wants to take me to touch more lives, to become more tender, more loving, more like Christ. The growth path of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry, DCLM, is no doubt phenomenal. Growing from a 15-member Bible study group in August 1973 to a global megachurch of millions of members in five decades is indeed extraordinary. Five decades and counting, and what an incredible milestone uh, to see where God started and he, he does his best work in, in, in the secret, um, not observed by the sons of men, but it's a great work. And here we are, fathers in the Lord, offering themselves as a poured out sacrifice to the Lord. And the Lord taking that with the seed of the word and has done great things with it. Um, 50 years later, multiple churches, several continents, across a lot of countries, we have seen people groups brought from all over the world into the kingdom through the singular effort of our Father in the Lord and the leadership of the church. And looking back to see how that vision can be sustained for 50 years, it's amazing. It shows the power of persistency and staying through to a vision. Deeper Life missionaries are in over 120 countries of the world. As in the early church, a subsequent result of enlargement in the DCLM is that new challenges and opportunities emerge. In response, the leadership of the church promptly established different departments and administrative organs to handle emerging needs and challenges. Talk about what the Lord has used him to do in the area of uh, carving out different harms of the ministry, especially the children, youth and the campus. Over these years, 50 long years, the testimony of the achievement has been golden. There is no doubt. I will bless the Lord. When we even look at it recently, with all his busy schedule, we still had the STARS program, which by the grace of God, ushered in multitudes of children. But we're looking forward. I believe God that we are going to do more and achieve everyone's goal in the world of children that with us and our Father in the Lord, because He's unrelenting and never tired, and He's carrying us on with vision, we shall achieve heaven's goal through the children ministry worldwide. Think about the strategy of evangelism, and now it has reached various facets of the society over the past 50 years. The church exponential growth has been born out of the fact that every part of the society had been touched and reached. The children, the youth, the young adults, the women, their professionals in every walk of life have had their own taste of the evangelistic strategy of the deeper Christian life ministry. The way of, the way of handling issues, the way of insight in things, the way of teaching, the way of knowing beyond the physical things. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed by, by his, his, his ministry, by his organizing things, by the way he handles matters. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed about the past 50 years just like yesterday we have made substantial impact in the christian world and particularly bringing him back 
the message of holiness and righteousness. As the proprietor of Deeper Life High School and Chancellor of Angkor University, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui has successfully pioneered a deliberate intervention targeted at the promotion of competence, character and courage while instilling leadership with distinction in the education sector beyond the boundaries of beliefs, color and race. The church has this particular factory, I can say factory of knowledge, where the church can now, whatever I want to do to further carry this our global uh, programs, in terms driven by ICT, I think Akron University is well positioned to be part of this fantastic progress. When the man of God received the mandate from God that the deeper Christian life ministry should start his school, no one really knew where we were going to. Today, the deeper life high school, at the end of every academic year, graduates a total number of almost a thousand students, boys and girls, who are academically well-grounded, morally upright, and equipped to become future leaders. The students in question are drug-free, alcohol-free, autism-free, free, free, free. There's no doubt that a group like this will affect their world. It takes purpose, drive, to make progress. Keep one person or I saw and say, I believe there can be a change. Not just the top of the mouth, but with action. That's why we're here, that everyone will wake up. Takes you to wake up. And even me, at my age, waking up, we can do something. TLSO, as we fondly call it, has experienced a lot of milestones in, the, in terms of the way uh, it has been positioned to lead young people to personal relationship with Christ, to introduce young people to success principles, and to uh, 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 build them up with leadership qualities and skills. Pastor Kumiyi's passion for the fulfillment of the Great Commission is unmistakable. He sees the entire strata of the human population as crucial in his outreach plan. In particular, his focus and passion for the salvation of young people and their holistic development motivated the convening of the Global Youth Convocation and the themes impact. If you have been in the church for some time now, you can testify to the fact that our father, Pastor W. Akumuyi, has been so passionate about children and youth right from inception. We're going to have impartation on young people. Our youths our students, our young adults. We're going to encourage them, talk to them, speak to them. Look at me now, I'm young at heart. If you look at my, at my air, you'll think I'm old. But you know, in the heart, in the mind, where the blood is running and flowing. There's a young man inside here. And that young man is eager and ready to move on and to fly with our young people. Deeper Christian Life Ministry has come a long way in terms of infrastructural development, aesthetics and technology. From the inception of the DCLM, Pastor Kumi has re-echoed the words of Jesus that those who seek to worship God must worship Him in spirit and truth. Obviously, we cannot downplay the importance of focusing on the doctrine of holiness and godliness to, for us to be able to achieve our goals and to be able to sustain. Uh, there's a trademark that this institution has and it's holiness. And so, uh, no matter what we try to do, 
to be able to uh, bring in variety in whatever form, that central point of holiness must be sustained. The emergence of the big tents with GCK, Global Crusade with Kumuyi, has become an outreach with great blessings all round and glorious testimonies of salvation, deliverance and healing all year round. It can only be the power of Christ in God manifested through his servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Yield a tremendous power and force to reckon with. And that's why, by the grace of God and by the leading of the Spirit of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Komui has been putting his energy and devoting his life and time and strength to developing the youth ministry. As a mother, this was one of the reasons why we established Dr. W.F. Komui Resource Library in Taraba State. The vision of the General Superintendent was to see how the church can become an international hub for gospel activities, GCK, and how more people all over the world can be reached with the gospel. Even before the advent of um, true multi-cast technology, the church had already been on the, for on the forefront of these things. And so now that the tools that technology has made available simulcasts, um, uh, uh, broadcasts that can be syndicated across multiple channels, social media, and all of those tools, and to see how even more open the church has become to the use of these tools is very heartening. Like every human organization, and despite all the successes associated with DCLM, there is more to do in earnestly contending for the faith once delivered unto the saints as we await the coming of our Lord Jesus. The Lord will raise a mighty army that will do battle for him in these last days. GCK has provided a platform to reach nations and to bring others from other nations to be part of the general move of God in this last time. And I believe the 50 years ahead of us we are going to grow in leaps and bounds, given that we are in an information age. And the technology has provided a platform for the church to be able to reach those who ordinarily traditional tra evangelism will not reach. And the church is maximizing the use of technology to reach this group. The sign of Christ's coming are everywhere and getting more and more real every day across the world. Indeed, the scripture is being fulfilled right before our eyes. Undeniably, Christ is coming soon and we will all account for our stewardship. The future of DCLM beckons. Let us join our Father in the faith. As it was in the beginning, so it is even now. Salvation yesterday is still the same today. Sanctification is still the same. Consecration and commitment must still be 100%. We must earnestly contend for the faith once delivered unto the saints. DCLM at 50.